Hi, welcome to Technology Tidbits for Librarians. Today we're going to go ahead and cover how to add titles and make sure that the information that we are entering is correct according to Mark. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to Catalog, Add Title. We're actually not going to be entering one in, but just taking a look at Mark records that are done correctly just to save time. Okay, so um, what we show here is just the basic general entry. To edit this title, we're going to hit Edit. Okay. Okay, so the leading article is only applicable when there is a the or an a or an an at the beginning of the title. Okay, so if this was titled um, the can't look away, then you would go ahead and make sure that the the is here. Now, the second thing that we need to know is that the first letter of the title is always capitalized. So can't is capitalized. However, look away, no letters are capitalized. Now, we're going to skip over doing some of the punctuation, and we'll go over why in a little while. Um, the object is to be able to enter as much information as you can as quickly as possible. Okay. Now, the subtitle would be if this was can't look away, um, semicolon, and then at the bottom of the book, maybe it said with um, or edited by so-and-so with bibliographies in it or something like that that's actually listed on the title page as part of the title. The author. Let's go ahead and note that um, here it's Donna Cooner. Okay, it's first name, then last name. Okay, this is the first edition. Um, Library of Congress number. ISBN number. Now for hardcover, if you don't want that in there, we could actually take that out because mine's actually not a hardcover. Um, ISBN numbers are not as important when it comes to our data entries for Destiny as we all think they are. Um, which basically means that if you have this book and the ISBN number is not the same, you can still add your um, your copy to this record. And the reason for that is is because when we enter a keyword and we are looking at search results, okay, if we have four copies of that book, we want it to say four of four, not have each book have its individual um, record. It just bogs the system down and it's confusing to our patrons. All right, so make sure that that's there. Our material is book. There's no other subtype assigned to this, no braille or it's not a picture book. You can go ahead and put those on there if it is. Um, this is another place you could put hardcover if you desire to do so. Okay, now um, under this author's name, notice that it is last name, comma, first name. Um, now this is the way that it's actually supposed to be written according to the Versa page. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. Now, if a date is included with the author's name, that date it usually represents um, the birth year. So we'll just pretend like she was 1969 and through, um, because she's still alive. Okay, had she passed away, we could put that she passed away in 2010. Okay, so that would represent those dates. All right, so publication information, New York, New York. A lot of times um, these are kind of already in our system, so make sure that you make sure that it's capitalized and um, properly and that it has the comma. It's not a period, it's a comma. Okay, this is the publisher, uh, the date of the publication. Again, don't worry so much about these punctuations at this point. We're going to cover that later. All right, another um, is a physical description. A lot of times um, students might have to find a book that has two, 100 pages or more. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that we enter those inform that information properly into the system so that they know whether or not they're going to go look for that book on the shelf. Um, if it doesn't meet the requirements, then they're obviously not going to waste their time looking for it. Okay, um, if you'd like to put the size of the book, that's awesome. That's great. Let's move on. Over here on the right-hand side, we're going to go to Series and Notes. Title. Okay, so this is the series information. If this book was part of a series like The Hunger Games or the 60s Trilogy, this is where that information is entered in. You'll also want to make sure that you do a volume number. Okay, so if it was book um, number two, this is actually the proper way to do a mark record. It's BK.2. Um, 
okay, not book two. Um, also note that the volume number does not go on the original title page, okay, over here. It doesn't go anywhere in here. It's not book two, okay. Please note that. Um, interest level, you can go ahead and put that on there if you're if you want to do that. Lexiles, we really don't use those, but you could put it in there anyway. Um, okay, so general entries, content, and summary. Okay, most of the time we're probably just going to go ahead and enter a summary. Um, if it's a nonfiction book, you might have to do bibli um, a graphical records are in the book. Um, maybe it's got an appendix or um, some other resource um, that it contains. You're going to want to go ahead and put that in there as well. Okay, subjects. Again, these are those key keywords um, that we hope our students are entering in. Okay, these keywords are internet and of course this is fiction. A lot of times I've seen entries that don't contain the word fiction or juvenile fiction is fine as well if it's a, um, a juvenile book. Okay, that's important to put on there so that right away if they put that it, they're searching for a fiction book it's not going to come back with all of these um, entries that are actually nonfiction. Um, cyberbullying, bullying, Again, these are the keywords that the computer system draws out from the keywords that the students enter in. So if they're looking for bullying um, books, it's going to go ahead and pull this because the word bullying is here in the subject line. All right, now each time that you enter one of these, if we were to do cyber bullying again, um, you have to hit update and then it brings it down here. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because this mark record is already complete. You can also edit them if you make a mistake. Not a problem. Um, now, resources is kind of cool because you can actually put links to, like, authors' websites or um, if the teacher has an assignment or something like that that, well, I should say all of the teachers have a website that they refer to for this specific title, you can go ahead and put that on there. Um, added entries, we really don't mess around with that too much. Um, you can if you would like to put in co-authors, editors, etc. Um, but it's really not necessary and sometimes we end up putting those on the author's page anyway on the original brief title section. Okay, so after you've entered in all of this information, you're going to go ahead and just save the title. All right, now this is why um, I suggested that we not pay that much attention to every period, comma, semicolon, um, and that's because Destiny has been designed to go ahead and catch those mistakes for us. Um, so, you know, if you're already really, really good about entering those um, punctuation marks, then don't worry about it. But if you're not, no worries either, okay? Because for this, the original is cannot look away. Um, they're suggesting that we do cannot look away without the period in it. So we actually should take that suggestion this time um, because the varying title form does not necessarily need to go ahead and have that period at the end and it might actually pick it up um, as that the title needs to be entered exactly that way. Um, so it would benefit the students if we go ahead and take that period away. So many times I follow those suggestions, but kind of review them too, just to make sure quickly. Well, that's pretty much how we go ahead and make sure that our mark records are um, entered correctly. If you'd like to know what it looks like from a mark view standpoint, on the right hand side, you can hit mark view and it will tell you each of the line numbers and um, how it looks in a complete mark record, which is kind of interesting to look at sometimes. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you so much. I hope it was helpful.